Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us together. Thank you for giving me the best friend in the entire world who would come and show up on this Tuesday and do this workout with me and her son. Lord, I just pray protection physically and mentally over our, our entire bodies. I pray that you would send your angels to come watch over us as we do this workout. I invite the Holy Spirit now at this time into this workout, into my body as we come forward to represent you in this time of fitness. Before we get started, I'm going to do one Bible verse on Bob body image just to remind you what God says about you your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20 says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. So that's a huge message just reminding you that God paid a price for you and the Holy Spirit dwells within your body. So treat it as such. Next time you look in the mirror and you think, ugh, I hate how I look or whatever it might be, remind yourself, no, I am a child of God. He made me this way and he thinks I'm perfect. All right, if you're ready, join me here. Step touch, roll those shoulders. We're going to warm up every area of the body before we get started today. Roll your shoulders the other direction. Excellent. All right, crisscross those arms. We made that body nice and warm before we really start our work. All right, we're gonna stick to some butt kickers. Nice and slow to start. You're just kicking your own butt. Pretty simple, right? All right, if you want, you can speed it up. If you need low impact, stay at that slow version. All right, we're gonna go to high knees. Take those knees nice and high. All right, option to stay here for low impact or speed it up. Great job. Our goal here is get that heart beating just a little bit faster. We're not in our full workout here though, so don't get too crazy with it. All right, hold it here. We got jumping jacks. Remember, if you need to modify, you're here. Otherwise, meet me here. Woo! All right. Should feel a little bit warmer than a few minutes ago. All right, hold it here. We're gonna squat it out. Feet are wider than hip distance. Down, up. Weights in those heels. Stick out the booty. It protects your knees. It's not just fun. Woo! All right, we're gonna squat it low. Bring one knee up. Squat it low. One knee up. Nice and slow here. Try and work through that full range of motion. You're doing awesome. Woo. Last one. All right, find a piece of wall. We're just gonna open up that hip. Swing that leg. We only have a good chair available. That'll work too. If you got nothing, 
You just gotta balance. The wall just makes it easier. Switch legs, other leg. You're a natural, doing great. All right, hold it here. All right, we're gonna reach towards opposite foot. Opposite arm, opposite foot. It's okay if you can't touch your toe, just reach towards it. So if you're here, that's okay. Just reach towards it. All right, we're gonna take one foot forward, put that toe up. We're gonna reach it down and up. Two more like that. Last one. Switch those legs. This is our last move of the warm up. <laughs> then we're gonna go in to our regular workout. All right. I want you to step touching as I show you the moves. First move, three squats. Three, two, one. Option to just do a force squat or squat with a tuck jump. If you need low impact, just squat tippy toes. All right? Or if you just don't want to jump. Second move, we're going to do fast feet. To a burpee. I'll show you a couple modifications. A full burpee is a jump, jump, down. Option if you don't want to go up and down, you'll lunge, lunge, squat, stand up. Or if that's too much to remember, just do lunges. Otherwise, I'll show you a few modifications along the way. All right, we got 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Three squats, three, two, one. Tuck jump, or three, two, one. Here's your modification. Three, two, one. Remember, you can always take that jump out. If that bothers your knees, take it out. But I do want you still getting low in these squats. Remember, stick out the booty. This is no time to be modest. You gotta stick out whatever you got. Whew. All right, step touch it up. All right, next we have those fast feet burpees. Remember, option if you want, just stay at the fast feet and take out the burpee completely. Or fast feet, lunge, lunge all right here we go fast feet and then burpee Woo. <laughs> you need to modify you can always step 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 squat lift here's the modified All right, I'm gonna do one full one. Woo! All right, step touch it out. Woo! Keep it moving. In between each set, even if you're tired, give me a step touch or a march in place. We've got those three squats to a tuck jump next. Go! Three, two, one, tuck jump, or remember, you can be here. It's a great option. Trust me, you'll still get a workout, even if you take that jump out. Or maybe it bothers your knees, it's too much impact. That's okay, take it out. 10 more seconds. Woo! Three, 
three, two, one, and step touch. Catch your breath here. Step touch. Maybe you want to march in place. I don't care how you move, just keep moving. Whew. We got those fast, for, fast feet to burpees next. Remember, you can take that burpee all the way out if you want and just do those fast feet. All right, here we go. Woo. Have some fun with it. You doing the full burpee? If not, that's okay. Remember, you can always take that jump out, the step. But if you want it more intense, add that jump. Woo. Rest it up here. Step touch. Woo. All right, we got those squats again. Here we go. Three. Two, one, remember, tuck jump, or just a squat tippy toe. Here's that modification again, in case you forgot. I'll do one more like that. You got this. You're doing way better than you're giving yourself credit. You're doing awesome. Woo! It really does help when you jump to go, woo! I don't know why, but it does. Woo, hold up. Step, touch it out. Maybe you just wanna walk around the room. Whatever works for you, that's what I want you to do. We've got one last of these fast feet burpees. Remember, you can always just do fast feet. Go! Here's the full one. Maybe you're modifying today. Maybe you don't want that jump. This is how I modify burpees. I'll show you again one more time. It just takes that jump all the way out and I don't have to go all the way down to the ground. All right, I'm gonna do a full, few full ones here. Woo! One, rest. Whew. All right, you've got a minute here. Towel off, grab a little water, and I will show you the next moves. You get to just watch. Keep moving though. Next one, you got three jumping jacks, and on that third one, option, to do an X jump. If you want, just stay on that jumping jack. You need to modify your jumping jack. You can come here and you can still squat it down, tippy toe for the X if you want to add it in. Second move, butt kickers, and then squat. Butt kickers, squat. You can take that jump out and just do it a little slower. Make it work for you. Jumping jacks, here we go. Three, two, one, jump. Three, two, one, jump. Maybe you're modifying today. You'd be here. Maybe you still wanna add that little jump even while you modify. That's okay. Maybe you're just working on your jumping jacks. You can just stay here or Add that little jump in whenever you feel ready. Woo! Maybe this is the day you want to challenge yourself. Add that jump in then. Woo! Quick rest. Step touch, march, whatever you do, no standing still, all right? Woo! We got those butt kickers to squats next. I untied my shoe. 
One, go! Butt kickers, squat. Butt kickers, so about four of them. I don't care if you count to exactly four. You can pick the number of butt kickers to squat. If you need to modify it, you'd be here. It's a great option. Otherwise, run it out. Add a little hop in there. This is definitely not low impact what I'm doing. So if you need low impact, take the other option. Hold up, step touch. Whew. As you can hear, I'm breathing harder. You should be too. Whew. We got those jumping jacks again. Whew. Keep moving. Two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, hop. Three, two, one, hop. Remember, you can take that jump out. You can fully modify. This is the low impact option. Four, take it here. Woo! You're doing awesome! Woo! Feel like a cheerleader. Woo! It's like you're posing for some kind of picture, right? Have some fun with it. Hold up. All right, step, touch it out. Woo! Catch your breath. We've got those butt kickers to a squat. Woo! Catch your breath. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Butt kickers, squat. Now again, you can slow this down and make it low impact. See here, I'm not jumping at all, but I'm still going pretty fast, right? You don't have to be like this to be low impact. You can still keep it up pretty fast without jumping at all. But again, go at your pace. If I'm going way faster than you, don't worry about it. Hold up, step, touch it up. That's the beautiful thing about our bodies. They're always at different stages, growing, learning. So accept your body where it's at. Last set of jumping jacks. Here we go. Woo! Give me a little woo. Woo! Don't be shy. No one can hear you. Woo! Unless they're home. Okay, maybe somebody can. You should be, able to be feeling pretty good right about now. Woo! My endorphins are starting to kick in. I'm feeling high on exercise. Two, one, hold up. Woo, we've got our last set of butt kickers to squat. Hey, if you're not to that point yet, where it feels good, just know it might take a week or two and then those workouts will feel great. Two, one, butt kickers. After my pregnancy, I went back and took a cardio class and I felt like I might die at any moment because it was so tough. But you know what? I kept at it and a week later, maybe two weeks, I'm not sure exactly, it started to feel good again. So it's a lie that it's just for somebody else. They just worked to get there. Your body rewards you for what you do. That's hard work. Hold up. All right, you've got a minute here. Towel off, grab some water, keep moving. We've got some like kickboxing moves next. 
We're gonna do a front kick, front kick, side, side. So your kick might be here. That's okay. I don't need you to like pull a hamstring or hip flexor or something. Go with your range of motion. Second move, we're gonna sit down in a squat position. We're gonna punch, 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 and then pop. All right, punch, 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 pop. Or punch, 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 squat, tippy toes. All right, here we go, front kicks. Kick, kick, side kicks. Kick, kick, front, front, side, side. You can take it low. It's a little kick. That feels better for you. Don't get crazy and hurt yourself. And you can slow it down. Maybe I'm kicking a little too fast. Slow it down if you want. Remember, bring that knee up, then kick. Knee up, then kick. Knee up, then kick. Knee up, kick. You don't want to kick midair. Hold up. Step touch it out. Woo! All right. We're going to punch it out next. You got any pent up aggression, whoever's making you mad, whatever's making you mad, they're right there in front of you. You're gonna punch it out, all right? Two, one, here we go. And then a little hop. Punch, 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 hop. Or squat, tippy toe. Remember, you can make this whole workout low impact. You never have to jump off the floor if you don't want to. Or maybe if just your body doesn't want you to, right? Who are we imagining? Maybe it's the devil, right? Has he been picking on you? Telling you that you're not worth anything? That liar. Woo, hold up. Step, touch it out. He likes to spread lots of lies you have worth. You have so much worth. Woo! All right. Whoever you're mad at, whatever situation, we're kicking it now. Get out of here, problems. Woo! Woo! Maybe that election, this coronavirus has been stressing you out. Well, kick it out of here. This is your opportunity today to just kick all those aggressions out. They're gone. Woo! Let's go. Maybe grit your teeth. Show them who's boss. Woo. Hold up. Give me that step touch again. All right. We're going to punch it out. I'm gonna come up to the camera for this one. You don't have to imagine my face because you probably like me, right? But imagine someone else's face. You're gonna punch it, all right? All right, here we go. Punch, punch, punch. Ooh. Punch, punch, punch. Woo! Oh man, you got me. Woo! Keep it going. You're getting the hang of this now. You're doing awesome. Woo! Really, put your hip into it if you can. Show them who's boss. We're not tapping at them, right? We're showing them we mean business. You can't steal my purse. Woo! Two, one, woo! Step, touch it out. Woo! This little wrist wrap is gonna stink after this. I am so sweaty. I hope you are too. All right, last chance for kicks. Two, one, here we go. Kick, kick, woo. Come on, show me you mean business. Woo! That's pretty scary. Show them what's up. 
I don't want to get in the way of your kick. You're doing awesome. Woo. Any doubt you may have over your destiny, kick it out of the way. Hold up. Step, touch it out. All right. Here's your last chance. Get in all the punches. Keep it moving here. Remember, feel free to grab water whenever you're thirsty. Here we go. Punch, 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 punch. Woo. Remember, even if you're doing that low impact, I still want you to get down in that squat for those punches, right? So we're down here. We're not punching up here. We're down in the toddler chair, punching it out. Woo! Get out that mini mouse, Paw Patrol chair. Get down nice and low in it, all right? Woo! Woo, step touch. Guess what? You earned another minute. Walk it out, towel off. Woo. I recommend the toweling off so you don't end up getting eye sweat. That's the worst. <laughs> All right, next move. I'm gonna show a couple different modifications for this. Option to be all the way up on those toes. Push up to pike. So if you've ever done yoga, it's like a downward facing dog. You're just pushing your hips up. Or you can be down on those knees. Push up, then push up to a pike. Second one, you already saw these. We're doing burpees again. So either the full burpee or lunge, lunge, squat, dippy toe. All right, come down to the mat, push ups. Here we go. I'm going to try and do a couple whew, on my toes. Sorry to do it with this wrist guard. You're modifying, come down here. Then when you get here, push up onto those toes, push your hips high, come back down, push up, pike. Push up, pike. You got it. Excellent work. These are tough, hang in there. Quick rest. If even doing that is too much, next round, come to the wall, stand at an angle, and do your push-ups that way, all right? Whew. We got burpees next. Two, one. Remember, you can always take that hop out. Maybe you don't wanna come down to the ground. You'd be here. Or maybe you just want low impact, but you're okay with coming to the ground. You would just step, tippy toe. You can always take that little push up out. If you've just had enough push ups for the day, totally a great option. I don't always even add the push up in. Two, one, whoo. Touch it out. Whew. I know what you're thinking. Burpees are your favorite move, right? <laughs> Said no one ever. All right, we've got those push-ups to pikes next. Remember, if you need to, do them on the wall. Here we go. We got push-up, pike. Push-up, pike. Keep going. I'm just gonna demonstrate that modification. See, I'm at an angle here. Push up, pike. So I want you to get the push up in, but then stick your booty out, stretch out those shoulders in between. You can though, you're down here on the mat. Doing the push ups. Maybe you're coming down to those knees, that's okay. Hold up. 
As you see, I come down to my knees quite often. No big deal. You work your way up to being on your toes. Guys have an advantage for this one. They just tend to have that upper body strength we women don't have. Doesn't mean we can't get it though. All right, burpees. Remember, option to take out that hop. And these hops too. I'll show that one more time. Step, step, push up. Step, step, tip your toe. If you want, you can pull out. These are a really tough move. So don't feel bad if it feels tough. It'd be weird if you thought this was easy. Whew. Even people who work out every day don't love burpees. Hold up. Woo. Walk it out. Oh. All right. We got those push ups next. Way down to the mat. Push up. Pike. Maybe you're down on those knees. And then pushing it up. Keep going. Now I just want to encourage you. That voice in your head might be telling you right now that you're too weak, that you can't do this. It's all a lie. You can do this. You have to convince your mind that your body can do this. Your body is capable of way more things than your mind thinks it can. So show your mind who's boss. All right, rest it up here. Whew. All right, you got one last set of burpees in there for me. Whether or not you do, I guess we're doing them, right? You got this. Remember, modify as much as you need. Take breaks if you feel like you're getting your heart rate up too high. Here we go. So on a scale of one to 10, think about where you would rate yourself at right now. Do you think you're at about a seven? That's where you're supposed to be. It shouldn't feel easy. It should feel tough. But if you're higher than a seven, I want you to step, touch it out, or just walk in place. Don't just sit down though. But we don't wanna go too high either. Whew. Step touch. All right, we're in another minute. Because we only have one round left before we do a little bit of core work and then just stretch. So a couple more minutes left and then you're done. Whew. All right, this next one, squat jacks. I'll show you two versions. The full version, you're jumping in and out of a narrow to wide squat. It's like a jumping jack, but you're in a squat position. Second one also has two versions. The full version is very high impact. You're jumping in your lunge or low impact or maybe beginner, lunge, lunge. You're just alternating those lunges. All right, squat jacks are first. Here we go. If you need to, just stay low in that squat position and tap side to side. If you feel confident enough, Maybe give me those full jumping jack squats. I really want you to focus on staying low though. I'm gonna to turn to the side. See here, my hips are low. For a jumping jack, you're up here. For these, you're sitting down low. Check it out though, check where my knees are behind those toes. Hold up. Whew. Step touch it out. Jumping lunges or just alternate your lunges. Make sure with those lunges, that front knee lines up with that front ankle and your stride is long. So none of this, it should be long. All right, here we go. 
So if you're doing the full version, you're here, just adding a little hop as you switch those legs. If you're not quite ready for that, you'll just take it here, step it back, lunge it down. Step it back, lunge it down. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. And you never have to come here if you're not ready for it. If you haven't done a lunge in 10 years, maybe jumping in your lunges isn't the best idea. Hold it up. Woo! Is your breathing getting a little more difficult? It should be hard to carry on a full conversation right now. That's how out of breath you should be. Squat jacks, here we go. Remember, the modification, you're just squatting side to side. Otherwise, you're here. That side to side option would be if you're a beginner or if you got any joint issues like knee pain, ankle pain, whatever it might be. We don't need you to be a hero. Woo! Rest it up. Step touch it out. That was awesome, you guys. Woo! We've got those jumping lunges next. Remember, if this is new for you, I just want you to alternate your lunges, okay? Here we go. So always the option to take this little jump right out. So then you'd be here. Trust me, this little jumping motion wears me out real quick. Whew. Not to mention, see how wobbly I get? That's okay though. It's good to be wobbly. Just means you're alive. Woo! We're almost there. Two, one, hold up. Woo! Step, touch it out. We've got one more set of squat jacks and one more set of jumping lunges. Then just a little core and stretch. You're on the home stretch, baby. Here we go, squat jacks. Are you modifying? You're here. Guess what though? If you're not here, you're here, right? We're still in that squat position. Either way, just like we're not in a jumping jack, we're in the scarier squat jack. These are one of my go-to moves. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Step, touch it out. Maybe dance it out. You do you, all right? We've got those jumping lunges. And we're gonna take it down to the mat, okay? Two, one, here we go. Woo. Jumping lunges, or just alternate. Check on my form when I alternate. 90 degree angle here, long stride. Step it forward, step it back. Woo. Lowering it down, 90 degree angle. Step it forward. So that's a great option. Never feel. Like you can't take that modification. That's what it's there for. You work your way to here. Woo, hold up. We got a minute to towel off. Catch our breath. Drink some water. Woo. And then meet me down on the mat.
All right, first move we're gonna do 30 second plank hold. So you can either be up on your elbows or all the way on your wrists. So either here or here. Either one's fine with me, okay? But keep those hips low. It's only 30 seconds, okay? It will feel really long, but it's only 30 seconds, okay? You can do this. I know you can. All right, hold it up. Hold that plank. Check out my hips here. They're not pushed down either. They're just neutral with my spine. So I really don't want that. I want this. If you still feel like, oh, I just can't do it, the modified plank is like a modified push-up. Still keeping that core engaged. Two, one. All right. We're gonna flip it over. We have got a little prayer crunch. So you're gonna put your hands together, palms facing each other, and you're just gonna crunch it up and back down. Here we go. Prayer crunch. And you're just lifting yourself up by your core. If you have to go a little slower than me, that's fine. If you feel like you can go a little faster than me, that's fine too. We're not working against each other. Woo, hold up. All right, our next move, you're gonna plant those hands by your hips. You're gonna lift those legs up. We're just gonna alternate dropping one leg at a time. All right, here we go. So drop one leg, keeping the other up, switch. You'll feel this in that lower abdominal area. Remember, keep breathing. Exhale on that exertion. So inhale, bring it up. Whew, hug those knees in, you got a little rest here. All right, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna alternate tapping one foot, tapping the other. So alternate opposite hand goes to opposite foot. Two, one, here we go. And don't worry if you can't actually touch your toes. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not even touching my toes. I'm just touching like my ankle. This isn't a flexibility move here. It's a core move. Whew. Quick little rest here. All right, next move we're gonna do, we're gonna lift those legs up, plant those hands on the ground. We're just gonna lift our hips straight up off the ground. Here we go. It's just a little lift here. You should feel this in those lower abdominals. Whew. I'm starting to feel it, are you? Three, two. One, Whew. rest it up. All right, we're gonna flip it back over because we're gonna do one more plank. Same as before, option to do any kind of variation. So you can always lift your legs, maybe jumping jack, or just hold. All right, hold it up. Here's one more reminder from first annual 16, seven, or the Lord sees not as man sees. 
Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. I know that's so hard to accept sometimes. We just see the outward appearance, but God sees you inwardly. Let it rest. Woo. All right, you made it to that cool down, guys. Great job. Woo. All right, take those legs super, super wide. They don't have to be as wide as mine. We're gonna reach one arm up, plant the other hand right in front, and just reach it over. Get a nice side body. Go ahead, switch to the other side. Reach it up and over. Try to focus on reaching it up first and then over. Go ahead, release. All right, we're gonna take those feet together. Bottoms of the feet should be touching. Grab a hold of those feet, and then we're just gonna lean it forward here. You should feel this stretching through your hips and inner thighs. You guys, that was tough, especially if you're not used to doing a lot of cardio. So if you made it all the way to the end, even if you took extra breaks, I want you to be really proud of yourself because you did it. No one did it for you. You. You did it. You succeeded. Go ahead, release. Take those legs straight forward. We're going to reach it straight up and then hinge it forward, reaching towards your toes. Don't worry if you can't touch your toes. Not everyone can. Everyone has different flexibility levels, especially if you haven't been Stretching often, this might be a little bit difficult. Not to worry though. I just wanna make sure you feel a stretch in those hamstrings. All right, go ahead, release. We're gonna lay it down. Just don't get too comfy. Reach one leg over. Reach those hands through the legs. Pull back on that thigh. You should feel a stretch through here in that glute and hip area. I keep accidentally locking my cat in here. <laughs> He's probably like, what the heck? I'm trying to get out of here. My bad, Winston. Whew. Go ahead. Switch those legs out. Other leg crosses in front. Pull it back. This is one of my favorite stretches. I don't know about you, but this area is always tight. Feels great to stretch it out. Go ahead, release. All right, we're gonna bring one knee up, one knee down. Stretch out that hip flexor. Remember, Stack that shoulder over those hips. I don't want you leaning forward. I don't want you leaning back. Just straight up and down. Just pushing those hips forward. You should feel it right through here. Take some time now while we're in this cool down stretching time to just really focus on your breathing here. Now that your breath has kind of come back to normal, focus on taking deep, full breaths and just focusing all your attention on those breaths go ahead switch those legs out either knee up either knee down again just focusing on that breath and being thankful that there's still breath in your lungs that you were woken up today that God still has a purpose and a plan for your life whether you know what it is or not, he has a plan for you. You are so important. I pray right now that very soon, if you don't already know, your purpose in this life will be realized and you will pursue that for your life. 
All right, bring it up to your feet. We're just gonna stretch out our quadriceps real quick. So pull back on that top of the foot. Other side. All right, we're just gonna close it down in prayer and then I'm gonna let you get on with the rest of your night or day, whatever time you're doing this at. Dear Lord, thank you so much for each and every person that participated in this workout. I know it's no mistake that they're here. I know that you have a plan and a purpose for their life, that you see them as such beautiful souls. You perfectly planned out every piece of their body and you delight in them so much. They are your child and you love them so much, Lord. I just pray throughout the rest of this week that you would just make it clear all the different ways that you love and cherish your child. I just pray blessing over each and every person's life that's doing this video right now. And I just pray that you would pour out your blessings on them more and more abundantly day by day and that they would come to know you more and more we ask all this in jesus holy name amen